So if you've already been following my channel, so if you're, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? She got pipes. She got pipes, eh? So if you have already been subscribed to my channel, then you have probably seen my skincare video. If you haven't, then I'm going to put the link down here or I might add in one of those little information bars. Just click that little eye and you can watch it next. I don't really know how to do that yet, so we gonna see how that works. But girl, it's, it's in my videos. Just go and look at the last couple videos. It's there, you'll find it. So today I'm gonna show you how I take it all off. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. This is a very free, lax, you know, keeping it cool, giving a little, dropping some gems, giving some insight, you know, showing some love situation. So um, don't be shy. I have this thing about the toilet seat being up while I'm in the vicinity. I just like for it to be down. Anyway, to start the makeup removal process, I'm going to use my simple cleansing wipes. I've been using these wipes literally for the last two or three years, and they are the best wipes that I've ever used, mostly because they don't have a fragrance and they remove waterproof mascara. I had to read the last thing. So the reason why I love these facial wipes is because they're simple like the name of the brand is simple but they're actually simple so these cleansing wipes are made for sensitive skin i started using these wipes when my acne was really bad and they were the only wipes that i felt like didn't irritate my skin because i think that's one of like the biggest annoyances when dealing with acne is that when you want to try new things you're afraid that it might irritate and upset the acne that's already on your face and may even cause more. This was one of the products that didn't do that for me during my worst moments. This actually did its job. It removes the makeup and it doesn't leave your face feeling like you've got something on it. You know how some of them I feel like they just leave like a, like a cast of something. I don't know, it just feels weird. Where this actually feels kind of fresh. Not too fresh, I still be feeling like I need to wash my face right afterwards, but still it's like not as bad as some other ones that I've used. So as stated on the actual packaging for these wipes, it does say you can take off your waterproof mascara with these. So I do use this to take off my mascara. My mascara is not waterproof, so I can take it off with water, but it just is a little easier for me to take it off this way. So I just lightly brush up and get off as much as I can like this and then I'll take off the rest with water. So my next step is just basically getting my face nice and wet and prepped for my facial wash, which is the Neutrogena Naturals uh, Purifying, can't say that, which is the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. So the story with the Neutrogena Naturals is I was using the simple skincare to wash my face and they discontinued the gel cleanser that I used to use from them. So I took one of the old bottles from Simple and went to the store and really tried to find a cleanser that had the same ingredients in it. And this was the one that had the closest ingredients. And I can tell that they are very similar because my skin is not reacting to it. This is really a simple facial wash. If you have acne prone skin or you're dealing with acne, I will really suggest trying this because really what you should focus on besides like trying to fight the acne, you should really focus on trying to get your skin clean. And this does that, it will clean your skin. All right, so now I'm gonna let my skin air dry and then I move on to my next step, which is toning. Before I get to that, let me just say this, and I know I might look crazy because my face is like dripping water, but I really wanna reiterate something because I have suffered from acne. I have suffered with acne. Is it with acne or from acne? Anyway, girl, I've had acne for years. like since high school, damn near since middle school, I have always had acne, always had bumps on my face or scarring. It always got worse. It was never just, you know, 
a nice clean smooth face i always had textured broken out skin and i was always constantly putting makeup on the reason why i want to say this is because I know that looking at my face now, if you're really suffering from acne, you're like, okay, but your face isn't that bad. I'm telling you, it really was that bad. It really, really was that bad. And I still have upsetting moments sometimes, but for the most part, my skin has really calmed down. And it's cleared up in some areas, but mostly it's calmed down. It's not you know flaring up i'm not getting flare-ups i don't get like huge breakouts all over which used to be the case for me i was getting broken out all over i would love to just be able to really convey to you guys that i know what it's like to have bad skin so if you are suffering from a bad skin spell please take heed to what i'm saying and try some of these products is it take heed Girl, I slowed down when I said it because I was like, I don't know. You trying a new one, hold up, okay? I was trying something new, so I know that. If that's not the right word, y'all just let me know, okay? Put me on, let this be a little vocab says I ain't bad at it, but you can't love <laughs> But um, yeah, take heed, take heed, girl. Do what I'm telling you to do, okay? And try some of these products out because I promise you, you will see a change over time. It won't happen overnight, and y'all already know that. But these are things that I would consider to at least try. Okay, let me go and get my toner. So my face is mostly dry right now. I can feel it getting a little tight in some areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in with my toner. And for the toner, I make it myself. It's just water and tea tree oil. This is a four ounce travel size bottle. And I fill it up to about here. And I put eight to 10 drops of 100% tea tree oil in there. This is something I swear by. I will not miss this step in my regimen. I feel like this is very important because it is what helps really like attack the acne. For me, it just feels like it's getting everything. I'm getting all the dirt, and also if there are any breakouts on me, it's it's getting at them. I don't know what it's doing, but they out here, they with it, they, you know, they fighting. I need that step. I will not go to bed without using a toner. I will not put on makeup before using my toner and moisturizing my face, okay? So my next step in my nighttime routine is applying my spot treatment gel. I got this gel from a dermatologist and I've spoken about it before. It's the Adapalene gel, but I just apply this in the areas where I like have current breakouts. It really says to apply it all over, but sometimes I feel like, you know, I don't need to do that all the time. And I put this on every couple of days. I don't do it every day. Cause I, won't, I don't want my skin getting too sensitive. Once I let the Adapalene dry, I go in with my moisturizer. Now on the nights that I'm not using the Adapalene, I use my Clean and Clear moisturizer, which I've spoken about so many times. But when I am using the Adapalene, I like to go in with something that doesn't have a acne fighting situation in it. Because the Clean and Clear has salicylic acid acne medication and this CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion has nothing in it. And I really like this. It's a non-irritating, non-comedogenic. I forget what that is, but it's got that in it, okay? And I just take this and I just pat it all around my face. I'm gonna let my face dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna pat it in. And the reason why I let everything dry is because I don't wanna move any product around. I want my face to soak it up and then I put my moisturizer on so then it's staying moisturized. My moisturizer is like my sealant the thing that keeps everything like you know nice and still moving and flowing while I'm sleeping so yeah I'm gonna dry a little bit more and voila now hold on Girl, uh, the next step is putting on my chapstick, honey, you know, cause ain't nobody got time to be waking up next to crusty mouth. Okay. So lips are moisturized, face is moisturized. I'm feeling clean. 
I'm feeling ready for the next day. I'm ready for whatever I can conquer, whatever. I got my face clean, now I can go about my business. If I wanna watch a movie, if I wanna go color in a coloring book, if I wanna sing a song, if I wanna dance, if I wanna do some yoga, I can do it guilt-free because my face is already cleaned and I'm done for the night. Yes. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. This is a, you know, you give me something, I give you something type of free flow situation. So if you have any suggestions, comments, um, girl questions, leave them down there. I love to talk to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it for me, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.